Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly update records in a form to assign a technician to a job by just simply clicking a button that's got their name on it. So if you got three different technicians, for example, you just go click, 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 and you can assign technicians that way, and it just goes right down the list for you nice and fast. Today's question comes from Santiago from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, a Platinum member. It's a bit of a specific question, but since Santiago is a Platinum member, we'll let him ask pretty much whatever he wants. That's the benefits of membership. Every day, I get a list of jobs that I have to assign technicians to. There is no rhyme or reason to it, so I can't make an update query to handle the task. There's no real criteria for who gets it. I just look at a brief description of what the job entails, and I know which tech to assign it to based on their skills, the customer, etc. I have three techs, and right now, it's a lot of copy and paste. I just go down the list and copy and paste, copy and paste. Can this be simplified at all? Even if I could just have a button for each of my three techs, that would make things so much easier for me. Click a button, it assigns a tech, and moves on to the next record. Okay, let's tackle this. Let's start with a copy of my blank customer database template. You can find a copy of this on my website. There's a link down in the description below the video. Feel free to download it if you want to, or you can do this in your own database. So you've got jobs and technicians. So let's make two tables real quick. Let's create a job table, job ID, auto number. Then you'll have a technician that's assigned to it. So a tech ID. Now, if you're using text in your table, if it's not relational, you can still do the same thing. All right, you can still just copy and paste the text. Although I suggest you make it relational with the second table. If you've never done relational databases before, I've got videos on that. I'll put a link down below. Go watch that and then come back to this. Okay, in here you can put any other kind of stuff you want related to the job. You know, the customer ID. I'll just put a description in here. All right, but you could put in here, you know, the, the job date, whatever other information you want. You might have a custom job number that the client gives you or an address or whatever other stuff about the job. So save this as job T, my job table. Okay, the other, the other fields are irrelevant for this conversation. And now let's make a tech table. So let's create table design. All right, a tech ID, auto number, and we'll just do a first name. We don't have to get fancy. You can put all the other stuff about your technician in here. All right, save that as my tech T. Save changes, yes. Let's put a few technicians in here. All right, let's go to data sheet view. I'll put in here myself. We'll put Sue, we'll put Jim, and Jean-Luc. Okay. Actually, you only have three technicians, so I'll stick to three. We'll make it easy. Okay, close that. Save changes. Let's put a few jobs in the system now. Now, the default ID is zero. It doesn't matter if it's zero or null. You can leave it as zero. That's not going to hurt you. So in here, you've got a bunch of descriptions. I'm not sure what kind of business you're in or what kind of jobs you have to deal with here, but I'll just do, uh, I'm familiar with the computer industry, right? So I'll put replace, replace motherboard. All right, I'm not going to worry about the job date. You get the point. I'll put in here, um, uh, clean out computer. All right, they get dusty. I used to have a job, uh, a service that I used to offer back when, way back in the day in the 90s when I did computer service. Uh, I used to offer something called PC Doctor, where we would take your computer apart and blow all the, you know, the dust out of it. People would go months without cleaning out their computers. And uh, if you have a, a an old desktop computer at home, take the case off once a month and get a can of air and just psh, blow all the, the dust out of it. You'll, you'll thank me later. All right, defragment hard drive. All right, take dog for a walk. I don't know. I'm just you know <laughs> read a book. Whatever. Drive a car. <laughs> Eat some soup. All right, we got so we got some jobs in here. Okay, now I want to quickly go down this list and say, okay, give that one to me, give that one to Bill, give that one to Jim, give that one to Sue. All right. So let's use my continuous form template here. I'm going to copy this. Actually, we can just use the customer list. Now nah, let's copy this one. Let's copy paste. Let's call this one my job F, my job form. Now this is the blank template here. I'm going to close the main menu for now. We don't need it. Okay. Now we just have to assign the job F to the job table. So we've 
bound it with a record source. Okay. Save it. And now you can either set these guys or you can just delete them and put the, the fields you want in there. Go to design, add existing fields. What fields do we want? Let's bring in, uh, we don't need the job ID. We're going to make a combo box for the tech ID. All right. And really all we need is description. You could bring in job date, but we don't really need it. So just bring in technician for now. All right. If you want to bring in job date and all that other stuff, that's fine. But all we need is the description for here. All right. This is the label description. Okay. And we'll put that first over here. All right. Get that little box right there. Let's make a combo box over here so we can pick the tech. All right. So go to design. I'm going to open this so it stays open. Double click on it. There we go. All right, let's find the combo box, which is right there. Drop that there. All right, I want the combo box to find values in a table or query. If you've never done combo boxes before, I've got videos on that too. I'll put a combo box link down below. Where are we getting the values from our tech T? That's the, the value list, right? What fields do I want? Well, I need the ID. That's the bound field, right? Bring over the first name next so you can see it in the box. Sort by first name. All right, that's what it's going to look like. The key column is hidden. I'm going to store that value in the tech ID. We're going to pick a tech and store it in the tech ID. Finish. All right, I can delete that label right there. Slide you over here. Okay, there's my list of techs. Just like that. All right, save it. Close it up. Open it back up again. Okay, so right now... The old way, now you could do this. If your technicians all have one, you know, the, a different first letter, this could just be as easy as just going R, right? See that? And and if you take this out of the tab stop, watch, design view. If this has already been entered, all right, let's say you're importing this or someone else is typing it in. I don't know what you got going on. But if this list here, let's double click on this guy and let's go to other and make it so it's not in the tab stop. It, it doesn't stop when you hit the tab key. All right, this might, this might work for you, okay? You might just be able to go J, S, S, J, right? Who reads the car? Rick, all right, drives a car. See, that, that's pretty fast if that's all you need to do. Now, I'm assuming you're probably using a text field and you're probably typing all this in. So go do what I just showed you with the technician. Make that a combo box. All right, let me clear these values out of here because I'm going to show you another way to do this. You want little buttons down here you can click on and it just signs it, Okay. Well, here's how you could do that. Watch, design view. This might actually be slower than the other technique, okay? Now, I I typically don't like doing stuff like this because this doesn't um, this doesn't foster a relational database design because I'm going to basically assign a specific button to a specific tech. And it's fine if you only got three of them, but what happens if you got 16, all right? Normally, what I would do is suggest maybe a drop-down box here with a button. You can add, 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 add up that way, all right? But since you only got three, we'll make three little buttons down here. Okay, cancel the wizard, put the name of the tech in here like Rick. Now, here's a, here's a trick. If you, if, again, if they're all unique, you can go ampersand Rick like that. See how the, the R now has the little underscore underneath it? That means that if you hit Alt-R, it'll push that button. Okay. All right, now you got to know what your techs are. So your techs are Rick, Sue, and Jim, one, two, and three. So here's what we're going to do. Come into here, right-click, build event. That'll bring up your VBA editor. Oh, I forgot to name my, my button. I don't want Alex yelling at me. Let's go name the button first. All right, open this up, and we'll call this Rick button. And again, I have to emphasize that this is specific to your database. You know, uh, it's not good relational design to do this, but it's what you want, so I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> Right-click, build event. Okay, so this is the Rick button. What happens when I click the Rick button? Well, in this field... All right, actually, we have to name this box first, too. Yeah, it's, a, it's combo five still. Let's change this. Let's call this the tech combo. All right, tech combo, and it's bound to tech ID. All right, back to here. So we're going to say the tech combo equals one. That's Rick. Like that. All right, then I want to go to the next record, right? Set it to Rick and then move to the next record. So do command dot. Actually, first we have to go up to that control. So do command dot go to control. And then what's the control name? Tech combo. 
then do command dot go to record comma comma ignore those first options or just use the defaults then go to next AC next just like that alright that's it now you just make two more buttons you got Sue and Jim we we'll just copy paste and it's yelling at you because you got the, the alt key assigned to different people alright so we'll go Sue there and we'll go Jim there so we just gotta come in here right and go Sue and then Jim okay now this one here we'll call this the Sue button We'll call this one the gym button. Okay, right click, build event. And we're just going to copy this and make it for two. All right, two, that's Sue. And then right click, build event. And it went up there for some reason. <laughs> Paste, three, and that's Jim. And let's move this down here. Okay. Save it. And again, for all of you experts watching, yes, I'm I'm aware this is not proper relational database development, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it, just to, to in a pinch, you want something to work a certain way. It's it's not going to kill anybody. All right, Rick, 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 Sue, Sue, Jim, Jim. See, show you that is, Jim, 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 Sue, Sue. Now, if you are using text fields here. All right, I'm using combo boxes so I can just send a number. If this tech combo was a text string instead, just change this to Rick, like that, if that's what you got going on, which I suspect it might be. Okay, but since I used combo boxes, I can just put a one in there. I'm gonna show you one more little cool thing too. You can make your own subroutine. This is getting a little more advanced, but I'm gonna just teach you a little bit more VB programming here. VB's, I love VB, all right? Let's say you wanna get rid of some of this duplicated code in here. All right, watch this. Private sub change tech. We're going to send it a tech ID as a long, like that. Okay, now copy and paste all this stuff. All right, copy, paste. Okay, tech combo equals whatever tech ID we send it. See that? Now down here, all I have to say is change tech one. All right, and that's Rick. Well, we can put the Rick after it too. All right, and now we can get rid of all that. See, we just take change tech two. I'm gonna get rid of all that. See, we don't have that duplicated code everywhere. Change tech three for Jim. See, you click this button. It says change tech to one. Comes into here, sends it a one. Tech combo equals one, and does all that stuff. See, works the same way, but now there's no duplicated code. All right, let's try it. Jim, 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 Sue, Sue, Rick, Rick. And yeah, you can add new records this way too. <laughs> if you don't want that to add new records, okay, come in here, go to data, allow additions, no. Allow deletions, no, if you don't want that. All right, though, you can accidentally delete records off this form. All right, you got, you're importing this somewhere else. Now, if I just keep it in Sue, okay. Oh, yeah, can't go to the specified record because we're past the, we're past the last one. All right, debug it. Okay. You can throw on error resume next up there. That'll ignore any errors. That's the, the simple and cheap way to get past that error. There's better error handling techniques, but... Same. All right, I hope that uh, answers your question. Again, I, I think it might be faster just to go R, R, R. You can use those alt keys, too, if you want it for the, the tab. I guess, because here you'd have to hit R, tab, R, tab, R, tab, whereas with those shortcut keys, you could go Alt, J, 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 just hold the Alt key down, J, S, R, R. I mean, that's a little faster with the buttons. All right, answer your question, Santiago. Hope that helps. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. But don't worry, these Tech Help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, 
please give me a thumbs up and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page, and you can send me your question there. If you have a specific problem you need help with, or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.